Good evening, good evening, Cecil, Kenya, good Norma, evening, Alma. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice, nice seeing you. It's a pleasure. Hey, you know. Good, good, good night, night, teacher. Good evening. Happy to see you in the class. Okay, you know that I really appreciate you are on time all the time. Thanks for getting into the class early. Hey, you know, we have some time. Yesterday, I told you that we were going to start by having your participation, right? So let us start. Let us start, okay? Let's let's start with Kenya, after Kenya Alma, after Alma Cecibel, and we finally, we listen to Norma, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Teacher. so that's fantastic. Okay. Teacher, okay. I want to share my biography and autobiography. Oops, it's all right, okay? Let us okay. start with your biography, Kenya. Okay. I want to share the, the screen. All right. It's okay. So be ready with everything so that we can take advantage uh, of time. Okay, Alfredo okay. Espino. That's sí. quite good. Solo voy a ponerla en la pantalla completa. Pero... Okay. Okay. Uh, my biography is about Alfredo He was born in Aguachapán in January 1900. He studied in Santa Ana and San Salvador. He graduated as a lawyer in 1927. He was a lawyer, a poet, and writer. He was a sentimental and romantic writer. He died in 1928. He lived only 28 years. He wrote one book. He characterized it was a poem book. And one book is he characterized and it is an example the poem El Nido. His full name was Edgardo Alfredo Espino Najarro. His father was Alfonso Espino and his mother Enriqueta de Espino. He was the second of eight children. He studied at, at the University of El Salvador. He only wrote 96 points. His point spoke the landscape, the landscape of El Salvador. He remains dressed in Jardines del Recuerdo Cemetery in the area La Cripta de los Poetas. Uh, that's it about Alfredo Spino. Wow, great info. Excellent, Kenya. Congratulations. I, I am really proud of you, okay? Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, Alma, later I will provide some feedback about what you have done, okay? Almita, okay, it's so your turn. Voy a compartir la pantalla también. Good, good. Este, I talk about a Colombian writer, Gabriel Jose de la Concordia Garcia Marquez was born in March 6, 1977, died 17 April uh, 2014, was a Colombian novelist, short story writer, 
a screenwriter and journalist, known affectionately as Gabo or Gabito Towlight Latin America. Considered one of the most significant authors of the 20th century, particularly in the Spanish language. He was awarded award the, the 1972 Newsland International Prize for Literature and the, he pursued the self-directed education that resulted in leaving law school for a career in journalism. Uh, he, he married Mercedes Bar Chapardo. They have two sons, Rodrigo and Gonzalo. He's the author of 10 novels, include, including 100 Years of Solid, Solitude in 1967, 100 Años de Soledad, The Autumn of the Patriarch, 1970. El Otoño del Patriarca and Love in the Time of Choler, Cholera perdón, 1985 El Amor en los Tiempos del Cólera In 1982 García Márquez was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature He died in Mexico City in 2014 Wow. It's over. Awesome information. Great info, great pronunciation, and congratulations because I can see that you were practicing a lot. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you, Alma. That was fantastic. Now, Cecil's turn. Hey, good evening, people. People who have just come into the class. Hey, be ready because tonight is the night for you to put into practice everything you have learned in this course. Okay? So everybody, try to be ready. Get ready with the information. Try to do your best, okay? And let us know how much you have learned in this course. Teacher, okay. I cannot share a green in my biography. If you are not able to do it, Cecil, you, you can just let us know about what you got. Belong to my ground. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Jorge. Welcome, buddy. Irving, welcome, Julio Cesar. Welcome, Jorge Alberto. Good to see you. Diana, uh, Gabriela, Hector, Norma Beatriz. I can see Rebecca here. Fatima, welcome. Oh. And Reina Concepcion and Christopher. It's a, it's a pleasure to see you in the class. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Yo okay, no puedo now. compartir pantalla, evening, teacher, porque yo la hice de mi abuelita. I'll be, it's okay, Cecil. Just let us know about what you got related to your grandma. Okay. Okay. My, my grandmother lived lived an interesting life. She born in the island. She living in Mianguera. She always lived there. She did no study. She met my grandfather working in the field. They got married on the island at the edge of diecinueve. Nineteen. Nineteen. They never left the island. She working rice, rice, cutting in the island. She the fourteen year old when I was forty two. She was forty two. Yes. That was it, Cecilia. Uh, yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey. Something that I, I admire uh, about you, your, your effort, your performance, is that you are all the time trying to participate actively in the class and that's something amazing, Cecil. Congratulations, okay. congratulations. Uh, Thank you, teacher. 
Just keep working the way you are doing, okay? Practice uh, more frequently. And you will see how fast you are going to learn how to speak English. Thank you very much. Okay, now I wonder uh, who who's the next person? I think it's Irving, right? Irving. Okay, I hope that you uh, that you have something ready for the group. Okay, Irving, go ahead, please. After Irving, Fatima. Ah, oh, well, Fatima, Fatima cannot do it now. After Irving, Reina. So be ready, Reina, Reina, with the information, okay? Okay, it's my turn? Yeah, it is your turn. Okay. My biography is about Thomas Alba Edison. He was born in Ohio on February 11, 1847, and lived in New Jersey on October 18, 1931. He was an American inventor who held a world record of parents with 1,090, including Tools held hotly and created, no, created the first industrial research laboratory in the world. Is all, teacher. All right. So very interesting info. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Irving. Thank you okay. very much for doing okay. your best effort. You know, at the end, I will provide some feedback so that you can do uh, even better. Uh, in the following courses. I don't know if I will continue working with you, but if you, if we, uh, I mean, if you have a new teacher next course, so I, I will try to provide some feedback, okay, some pieces of advice for you to do even a, a, a better job, okay? Now, then after, uh, I said uh, Reina, right? After Reina, Jorge David, uh, uh, I can see that Jorge is taking care of a, of a baby, but okay, try to try to do it, okay, hey, Jorge David. After Jorge David, we are going to listen to Susana. Okay, voy a compartir pantalla. All right. María Isabel Rodríguez. Okay, Reina, I, I wonder if you have problems with microphone. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um. My biography is about Maria Isabel Rodriguez. Maria Isabel Rodriguez was born in El Salvador on November 5, 1924. She earned her medical degree from the University of El Salvador in 1949. Despite being warned, warned by the team against joining such and man's professions, she completed postgraduate degrees in cardiology and physiolo physiological science in, in Mexico. In 1954, she returned to her alma mater and began a career as cardiovascular physiologist and biomedical researcher. Maria Isabel Rodríguez is a Salvadoran physician, academic, and government official. In 1956, she became one of the first group of four women to enter the Legislative Assembly from 
1999-2007, she was the rector of the University of El Salvador. She was appointed El Salvador Minister of Health in 2009, a position she held until 2014. She is currently the presidential advisor of on health and education. Rodriguez currently lives, lives in El Salvador. She turned uh, 100 in November 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Reina. Thank you for sharing such uh, interesting and important information about uh, Miss Isabel, right? That was quite good, Mrs. Isabel. All right. So let me see. I asked Jorge David, right? Let's continue with Jorge David. Hi, my my biography or the personal knowledge? No, it's about biography, uh, Jorge David. After Jorge David, uh, well, let's we will listen to Christopher, I think. Okay, after Christopher, Jorge Herrera. Now? Yeah, now, now. Yeah. I'm my biography. I am uh, George David Morales Revelo. I was born in a sub San Salvador city and in the years 1985, um, I grew up in Ayutepeque City. I studied in CA Doroteo Vasconcelo in seventh grade. I, 11 years, begin start uh, work and study. I, my personal is very funny. <laughs> I I never never get up. I very strong. Um, study um high school in years um twenty twenty zero seven years. I had three children and my wife, I married in the um, 2007 and only. <laughs> and only that, okay. A lot of info, good info. Okay, thank you very much for here, David. Your work. All right, so let's continue with Christopher, right? After Christopher, let me see. Okay, teacher. Uh, let me see. I think Jenny, Jenny will continue after Christopher. Okay. 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 Um, uh, teacher, in this case, me tocaría mi biografía, verdad? Yeah, I mean, you can talk about a biography or autobiography. You decide. Remember, you, you were in charge oh, of presenting any. I mean, you know, because of the time, you can decide either to talk about biography or autobiography. It's all right. Okay, okay. Um, this night, I talk about my autobiography. All right. My name is Christopher Montano, and I, I am 23 years old. I was born June 27, 2000, in Santa Tecla, El Salvador. My parents are Raul and Marisela, and I have a sister called Lupita, and a brother called Tony. I like very much playing hike and see, football, and Fix things uh, when I was an uh, infant and also going to the airport. Uh, 
when I finished my first university degree, I started working in the airport. And when I was five years old, I went to my dad's workshop every day. And uh, workshop, my passion for fishing things was born. And when I was 12, I repaired my first engine. I was very smart at the school, but I never liked it taking orders. This is my problem. And, and, and this all. Oh, great info, Christopher. Excellent. Okay, I can see that you are improving also. Pretty nice. Now, let's listen to Jenny. And after Jenny, now let me see. Salvador, Salvador Galdames. Yes, teacher. Okay, after, after uh, Jenny, you will continue, Salvador. Okay. Good night. Hello. Good night. Uh, I talk about my sister biography. Good. It's a short information about my, my sister. Uh, my sister's, uh, her name is Ceci. She has uh, 40 years old. She's like in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, but she grow, no, grow up, ¿es cierto, verdad? Grow up. She grew up. In the San Salvador city. She went to the U.S. to work to help our family. She was a study, study English to work a factory. All right. That was it, Jenny? Yes, it did. Okay, thanks for doing your best effort. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I congratulate you because you are all uh, trying to participate in the class and doing your best. That is really uh, admirable. All right. Let's see uh, who follows. Who did I mention? Salvador, right? Yes, after, teacher. Yeah. After Salvador, let me see. Let us listen to Rebecca. After <clears throat> Salvador, Rebecca. Okay. Go ahead, Salvador. Okay, I will talk about Thomas Alva Edison. All right. Thomas Alva Edison, um, born February 11, 1845, October 8, was an American inventor and businessman. He developed many days in field switch and electric power generation, mass communication, sound recording, and motion picture. His inventors, which include the photograph, the motion picture camera, an early version of the electric light bulb. I had a Weighted spread impact on the morning industrial uh, industrial issue work. He was on, on the first inventors to apply the principle of organization, science, and teamwork. Only teacher. That was fantastic. Okay. Every single time you do your best uh, effort for me, wow, it's, it's amazing. Okay. Now let's listen. Listen to me, please. I, I have still, I still have eight minutes more. No creo que todos logremos eh, participar, pero por lo menos yo quisiera que la mayoría lo hiciéramos. Y todavía tengo ocho minutos porque quiero que hagamos un repaso de, del examen final. Okay. Entonces, para, para eso necesito también un, un tiempito para que podamos este, resolver eso y, y, y pues reafirmemos lo que hemos venido estudiando. No sé si hay voluntarios que quieran... Ya te echo. Ah, ok, Jorge Alberto, go ahead. Go okay. ahead, Jorge Alberto. Uh, my biography is about Angeli Dayoli. Was okay. born on June 4 in... 
1975, she was born in Los Angeles, California. Her father is John Boyne. John Boyne is an Academy Award winning actor. Angelina Jolie was born into a family of actors. She played uh, Lara Croft and Tom Ryder. The most notable actress roles of hers are in One Ed, Salt, The Tourist, and Miss and Mr. She is uh, one of the highest paying actresses in Hollywood. She starred in the Disney movie Malefs. And finally, Angelina Jolie is one of the sexiest actresses in the world. She has been named and sexist woman alive uh, by many different magazines. Angelina is famous, is famous for her relationships and she was married uh, three times and had six children. Only three of uh, of children are biological. biological. She underwent a gravity double mastectomy. She had a high chance of brain cancer. Her mother died uh, of his diocese. <laughs> no se puede ser esto. Um, he still had a chance of ovarian cancer, but uh, she is an example for all women. And that's it. Wow, great info. Great info. Okay. Um, congratulations, Jorge. And thanks for, for participating. I need. I, I wonder welcome. if there if there is any other volunteer. Otherwise, I, I, who who who? My biography teacher. Ah, Cecil, go ahead. My name is Cecil Rodriguez. I was born in the Department of La Unión. My father has already passed. passed I why my mother live live on the isla Osmianguera. I am student at the Instituto de la Unión for a bachelor degree in navigation in fish. They are professorship in the teacher text. I also student of a bachelor degree in mathematics. I work as a third sickly teacher, mother of five children. I like I live in San Miguel. Phoenix teach. Okay. Wow, San Miguel, a beautiful, a beautiful place, right, to live. And also it's because the weather's a little hot there. <laughs> okay, now is there any, uh, I mean, ¿hay algún otro participante? Si no, pues, utilizo el tiempo para dar este, algunas, algunas indicaciones. Quiero eh, ver, ¿hay alguien? Ah, okay, teacher, Kenia, Kenia, ok, Kenia. Eh, eh, mi biografía. Ok. Sí, sí, voy a compartir la pantalla nuevamente. All right. Creería que, bueno, tengo que darles algún feedback de, de su trabajo, ok. Y este, le va a servir mucho. Ya van a ver si Dios permite, continuamos en el curso juntos. O si ustedes continúan con otro docente, de igual manera le va a servir. Ok, Kenia. Yo creo que ha sido mejor participación con usted, Ticha. Lo felicito. <risa> No, saben que saben que yo estoy sumamente eh, feliz con ustedes, la verdad, me siento muy feliz porque sí, veo teacher, hemos aprendido mucho con usted. Veo progreso. Sí, saben que veo progreso sí. y es lo que a mí más me, me motiva. Ok, sí, oro sí, sí, sí. Kenia, go ahead. Ok, Kenia. Ok. Eh, my oro biography. My name is Kenya Perez. I am 34 years old. I was born in San Salvador City in 1988. My birthday is on February 20th. I live in Soyapango for 
24 years and since 2012 I live in San Martin for 10 years. I studied high school in 2004 and I graduated in 2006 in the Instituto Nacional San Luis in Soyapango City. I learned many courses in my life, for example, bakery and pastry, Microsoft Office, how to make in piñatas, how to make in bisutería, social media, management and basic, social media management and basic for photography course. A photographic in a photographic course. Wow. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, it's my photos when I study bakery and I saw in La Mujer San Martin. I work as a cashier and as an industrial operator in ABUX El Salvador. I studied in, in Juve Soyapango for two years in 2016. My mother and um, I sold sweet bread and desserts in Tiranjar San Martin and entrepreneurship fair. I learned how to drive a car this year in Shalom Drivers School. And finally, I live with my parents and my older brother. And I went to the shore with my mother last Sunday. All right. Thanks. It, Thank you. It, this is uh, my photo when I, I learned how to drive a car this year. Um, this is my family. That's it. Oh, we are happy to know about your family. Okay, now. Yes, thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, I will take like five minutes. Yeah. Let me see. Me voy a tomar cinco minutos en español. Perdón que me pase el español. Pero quiero dejar algunos puntitos claros para que ustedes puedan seguir mejorando. Miren, eh, han hecho un excelente trabajo todos. Todos, sí, lastimosamente, no sé si nos quedó alguien por ahí fuera, pero no era esa la intención. La intención era que todos participaran, ¿verdad? Pero um, he tomado algunos apuntes de su trabajo. La evaluación que yo hago no necesariamente tiene que ser reflejada en, con puntaje, ¿verdad? 8, 9 y 10. Ya sabemos que la plataforma sí nos lo exige. Y háganme el favor, lo, si acaso no han terminado, de, de trabajar la plataforma, háganlo, porque es sumamente necesario para nosotros. Y este, porque ahí sí queda reflejado su, trafa, su trabajo, ¿verdad? Queda registrado. Vale, cuando, cuando hagamos una presentación, yo los estuve escuchando, muy bonito, muy bonita pronunciación, eh, se pudo notar que se habían preparado, pero como, como a manera de consejo. O una sugerencia. Cuando preparen una presentación, traten de, de que no sea todo lectura. ¿Ok? Traten de que todo lo que ustedes digan ya salga de, de su mentecita, se lo hayan aprendido. ¿Ok? No importa que sea corto, que sean 30 segundos. ¿Ok? O que sea un minuto, que sean dos. ¿Ok? Pero lo más importante es que ustedes empiecen a notar que van este, ya soltándose un poquito con el idioma. Eso es lo primero. Lo segundo, permítanme, voy a ver acá. Ah, este, es necesario que cuando ustedes te estén exponiendo, eh, completen las ideas, las oraciones. Ok, por ejemplo, si yo digo, uh, Mar Marixa is a student. Um, was born, was born in Santa Ana. ¿Qué me falta ahí? 
¿Qué me falta? The subject. Ah, igual. The subject. All right. Entonces, cuando ustedes, no, cuando ustedes hablen, no cuando presenten, ahí. fíjense en esos detallitos, ¿verdad? Eh, Susana is a student. She, she started the course eh, with me and then you continue with the idea, ¿ok? Pero traten de que sus, que sus ideas estén completas, ¿ok? Lo otro es um, la pronunciación, ¿ok? Yo sé que en un 80, 90% todo lo que pronunciaron estuvo genial, pero hay detallitos. Por ejemplo, hemos estado estudiando el pasado de los verbos regulares, especialmente los regulares, y vimos que son tres pronunciaciones. Entonces, ha hagamos énfasis en esa pronunciación. ¿Qué si yo start, she, ok? Uh, let me see. Alma, Alma is one of my students in the course. She started the course last week. She started. ¿Cuál es el problema ahí? Con la niña. Ah, tengo que hacer la pronunciación correcta. She started the course the last year. Porque eso me dice que estoy hablando del pasado. ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, acuérdense que son tres pronunciaciones. Por ahí en el grupo les dejé, si mal no recuerdo y no les estoy mintiendo, parece que les dejé un video, un enlace. Entonces, sí. si, si ustedes quieren seguir practicando, ok, síganlo viendo, síganlo practicando, que eso, eso les va a ser de mucha ayuda. Lo otro, quiero ver, ah, algo, algo que sí hay que tener muy en cuenta, que para decir la edad en inglés, por ejemplo, yo digo, um, José Luis tiene 20 años, José Luis tiene 20 años. ¿Cómo lo digo en inglés? He has 20 years or he is 20 years. He is. He is. No se les he olvide. Is. Nunca van a decir he has. Porque he has es algo, algo físico que nosotros tenemos. Yo puedo decir I have a mouse. Tengo un mouse. I have a, a notebook. Tengo un cuaderno. Pero nunca uh, tengo 40 años. I, I have 40 years. No, eso no se puede. I am 40 years. All right. Let me see si tengo algo, algo por acá. Ah, ok. Let me see. Otra, otro consejo. Cuando haga, cuando tenga una pronunciación, cuando tenga una presentación, perdón, asegúrense de que se han aprendido la pronunciación de las palabras correctamente. Ok. Correctamente. Porque eso indica que hay un, hay un trabajo que les respalda. ¿verdad? Si yo digo, por ejemplo, uh, a mí, por ejemplo, me costó la palabra refrigerator, refrigeradora. Entonces, este, eh, cuando, yo, cuando yo empecé con inglés, esa palabra me costó. Pero este, mientras más la repetía, pues uno se acostumbra. Pero si yo digo otra pronunciación en frente de, en frente de, 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 de una clase, ok, está bien, está, es válido equivocarse, porque aquí estamos para equivocarnos y para aprender. Pero en la medida que sea posible, tratemos de eh, aprender vocabulario antes de esa presentación. Ok, con eso termino y vámonos rápidamente al, a, al repaso de, 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 del, ex, del examen. ¿Les parece? O si tienen alguna otra consulta, pues igual hacemos el tiempo. No problem. Ok, no problem. Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. Let me see. No, this is... This for you. I'm ready. Uh, you, you're ready. Good. Just give me one second, please. Okay. Now, this is what we were studying uh, yesterday, right? Some vocabulary related to school. School days. Power work. Work power school days. So that's what we studied yesterday. Oh, we had some review. Okay. Uh, I hope that you read the information about Ricky Martin. Okay, this is a reading, something like similar to what we did uh, tonight. That's why we're, we, I, I won't continue with this activity. I know that you are very finished with it, but over here, let me see, we have, we have, let me see, we have some, some exercises about the final exam. Okay, we are, we have like 25 minutes more so that we can finish with it. 
Okay, now automatically we're gonna listen to it. Okay, I know that you worked on it, eh, but we're gonna go over it a second time or a third time so that we can reaffirm. Do me the favor to close your microphone. Uh, whenever you are not participating, I will appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's, let me see. Okay, now let us try, let us try, people. Now, automatically, you are going to tell me the answer, okay? Let me see. Now, let's listen to it, and then you tell me the answer. It will be quite fast, okay? Very fast. Okay, pay attention. Where are Helen and Mark going? Something we studied, right? Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. 3. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on 2nd now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up 2nd to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. 4. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. All right. Now, I, I know that you already worked on it. Now, where are Helen and Mark going, according to what you uh, heard? Hello? A bank and department store. A bank and a department store. A department store. Okay, thank you. Where is Mitt's department store then? On the corner. On the corner. On the corner of first and main. On the corner of first and main. Good. How do you get there? What? Walk up, second to main, turn left. The first one. No. Okay, no. no. Turn left or turn right. Walk up, second to main, turn right. Yes. Uh, and turn right. So it was the country, turn right? Left. Where is my going to buy? A sweater. A sweater. Ah, he's looking for a sweater. Oh, he wants to get a sweater, right? So no. no. No sweater. No, no, it's not a sweater? No. A sweater. A sweater. Ah, it's sweater. a sweater. It's not a sweatshirt. It's not... En la primera, creo que escuché que dice que no tiene gas, entonces creo que van a la station. Uh, why don't we listen to it second time? Let us listen to it second time. Here we go. Okay. Pay attention, pay attention. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? 
Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. All right, so what, what about now? Are we correct or we need to change the answer? I bounce in a gas station and department store. A gas station and no, a department store? A bank and a department store. Oh, oh, oh. A bank. Okay. ¿Lo dejamos así o lo cambiamos? Sí, no. Sí, así. Okay, so <laughs> let us check it then. So, correct. Let us check it then. There. I. Es correcto. All right. Yeah, that's why, right? The person said that he did he he doesn't have any gasoline, but the the only way to solve the situation is to walk, right? Good people. Now all of them are all right. Excellent. Now let us try to move on. Okay, let's move on. This is like very quick. Okay. Uh, let me see. This is about a, a map. Okay, I, I think you already worked on it. Okay, this is the same map we studied in, in the previous classes, right? Yes, I, I, I think. Let me, let me know what you answered in the, in, the, in, the, in the exam. The department store is? Next to? Next to, next to the, the bank. bank. Next, next to, the, to bank. the bank. All right. At Al's Coffee Shop is? Across, across from, from, across the, from, from, from the, movie the movie theater. theater. Across from the movie theater. I will, I will make it big. The see. movie theater. Maria's restaurant is... On, on the, the corner, corner of, of Main Street. Main Street. Avenue. 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 Second, Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Second Avenue. 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 <laughs> Now let's see if you did it. Let me see. Let me see. Between. Ya aprendimos, teacher. Yeah. Esta mala opción que ha puesto. Which one? La última es on the corner of. Ah, yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah, that was my that was my mistake, right? Yeah, that was my mistake. Okay, but it's on the corner of. Across from and next to. Wow. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's move on because I need to see what you did during the during the exam. Now over here we have some uh, some sentences, right? And I think we have a multiple choice uh, act, uh, activity. Okay, let us move on a little bit quickly because you know time is running. Where your parents were your parents born in the US in the US? No, they no, were, they they were, 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 were born in Japan. Japan. It's the first one. All right. Where did you grow up? I grew, I grew up, up, I grew up, I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Let, let me see. Let me see. I grew up in Tokyo. Let's see. Then we have, who was your, your first English teacher? My first, my my first English teacher, teacher was, was Mr. Sato. 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 Sato, right. No, Sako, no, Sato. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> when did you come Japanese. to New York? Yeah. I came to New I York, came in, New York, York in, in 1988. 1988. 1988. All right. How was your first date in the U.S.? It was a little it was scary. Was it was a little scary. It was a little scary. Oh, wow. I can see that you remember everything, people. Let me see. No, they were my girlfriend from Japan, all right? I grew up in Tokyo, good. The first English teacher was Mr. Sato. I came to New York in 1998, and it was a little scary. You got another 10 there. Okay, let's move on. Hey, 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 you know, if you have any, any questions, you just tell me, hey, stop there, teacher, I have a question, okay? Now, let me see, over here says that, that we need to match the verse uh, to the nouns. Match the verse with the correct words or phrases. Had, for example, 
Hard one. A picnic. Picnic. A picnic. Had a, had a picnic. Played. A picnic. Played what? Tennis. Ah, play tennis. Good. They would say took. Took what? Photos. 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 And went? Went swimming. Went swimming. And so? A play. A play. A play. And so a play. Good. Wow. Okay. I, I had a picnic. I played tennis. I took some photos. I went swimming and I I saw a play. Good. A play. I saw a play. So we're almost done, people. We're almost done. Com uh, we're, we need to complete the conversation. So here, okay? Let me see. There is there is a message in the chat. Let me see. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Alba, but but I I have already checked that you are in the class, that you are trying to do your best over here. Okay, I understand that sometimes we have technical problems. Uh, you see, select the correct uh, form of the verse to complete the sentences. A good weekend. Did you I, have did a good weekend? Did you have? Did, did, did you, you have? Did you have a second weekend? There's a second. Did you have a good weekend? Good. Number, okay, the answer. No, no really. I studied all weekend. Studied, all right. Very good. No. No. Oh, no. no. So what's the problem? You said studied, right? There's. Ah, the first. first. Ah, okay. did, did, they, did they do all weekend? I need last weekend. Anything last weekend? Did, did they, they do, do did they weekend? anything did last weekend? Do did they do? Did they do? Did they do? Okay. Yes. Did, did they, they do, do anything uh, last weekend? Yes, they. They went, they went hiking. Went when they went in, they in the woods. They went. They went hiking okay. in the woods. Uh, anything at the mall? Uh, did, did she get, she get anything, anything at the mall? Did she, at have... the mall? did she get anything at the mall? No, she went shopping, but she didn't, didn't buy, buy. buy. Didn't anything. buy. Didn't buy. <laughs> didn't buy. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I, I get scared. Algunas veces me asusto. <laughs> eh, yo pienso que usted que me están haciendo una trampa que ustedes ya saben do you have uh, studied did they do went did she get uh, didn't buy wow ya veo que ni siquiera les gusta equivocarse ok in this article you read something right and let me see if we have time no we, we don't have more time so uh, we're not gonna read it because because of the time, but I know that you worked in this part. So let me know what you answered in the, in the exam. Why did Jerry go to the basement? The laundry. Jerry sleep to the laundry. on the floor. To do the laundry. To do the laundry. To do the laundry. Where did Jerry sleep? Jerry, Jerry slept on, on, okay. on, on the floor. Okay, Jerry on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Jerry slept on the floor. Slept on the floor. Good. Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Because, because Jerry, Jerry didn't answer, answer on the phone when his parents called check of him, check on, of him. on him. The third one, right? Third. The third one. <laughs> All, right. All right, that was fantastic, people. Let me last see. I, I think that's the last part, right? I think that is the last part. Now, listen carefully. I will stop sharing. Vamos a, a dejar de compartir. Y... ¿Se recuerdan que yo les dejé una tarea? 
Yes. ¿Cuál era esa tarea? ¿Quién se recuerda? About the... ¿No se recuerdan? Sí, la noticia. Ok. It was about school days, right? How was your experience at elementary school? How was your experience at elementary school? I have good memories, teacher. You have good memories. All right. Now, I, I don't know if somebody prepared something. Sé que, sé que son personitas muy ocupadas. Lo vimos, por ejemplo, tuvimos el ejemplo que Kenia nos dio en su biografía. Pudimos ver que es una, una persona sumamente ocupada que está aprendiendo todo el tiempo. Y yo creería que pues eso, eso se replica en cada uno de ustedes. Eh, realmente los felicito porque ustedes hacen la diferencia. ¿Saben por qué hacen la diferencia? Porque um, la mayoría de personas a estas, a estas horas de la noche están pensando en, en, en acostarse, en, en descansar después de un día de trabajo lleno de actividades. Y pocas personas están pensando en seguir uh, aprendiendo, en seguir creciendo como personitas. Eso es, yo siempre he pensado que es dar como, como eh, el extra, como decimos, ¿verdad? Dar un paso más allá de lo que regularmente hace la mayoría de personas. Después de este grupo, yo tengo otro grupo, imagínense, de 9 a 10 de la noche. ¿Cuánto esfuerzo harán estas personas si después de de trabajar todo el día, pues se conectan a, a las clases de inglés. Entonces es, es realmente admirable. Yo, yo lo admiro mucho porque eso indica que hay personas, muchas personas, y eso lo tenemos la mayoría de salvadoreños que siempre queremos salir adelante, sea como sea, siempre queremos sacar nuestro, nuestra mejor cara delante de cualquier sin, sin circunstancia. Entonces... Eh, lastimosamente el tiempo se nos está yendo solo tengo cinco minutos vamos a hacer una cosa como realmente si no, no sé si voy a seguir con ustedes eh, porque ahora pregunté eh, cuándo se van a, a reanudar los cursos me dijeron que hasta en enero entonces en enero estén esperando eh, alguna notificación de parte de inglés corporativo para volver a incorporarnos a los cursos Ok, voy a, a reiterar aquí la información que tengo respecto a la, a la asistencia y ya luego nos quedamos quizás comentando un par de minutitos cómo les ha parecido este, ese espacio, ok. Pero déjenme chequear acá. Gloria Carolina. Iris Elizabeth. Catherine Judith. Sí. Catherine Judith. Sí. Sandra Guadalupe. Silvia Carolina. Ella, Wilson, tampoco lo vi. Ayer sí estuvo. Wilson. All right. Vaya, los chicos que no menciono, ya saben ustedes que es porque ya, ya tomé apuntes, ¿verdad? Este, creo que voy a seguir trabajando de esa manera, me funciona mucho. Anotar que cuando alguien participa, pues ya, ya es un hecho que ha estado acá en toda la sesión, ¿verdad? Eh, algo también que les voy a aclarar es que a, en el sistema a ustedes les aparece cuántos minutos se quedan en la sesión, ¿ok? Si usted eh, tuvo algún problema técnico y solo se estuvo 10, 20 minutos, eso ahí queda registrado. Por eso es que si ustedes se fijan en el grupo, eh, nuestros administradores, los administradores del grupo siempre nos llaman la atención a permanecer la hora completa en la clase, la, están este, siempre apuntándonos a que asistamos a todas las clases. Porque este, uno de los requisitos para continuar en el curso es que usted tenga por lo menos un 80% de asistencia. Aparte de eso, se le solicita que hagan todas las actividades en la plataforma, todas 
¿ok? Porque eso es otro parámetro que se toma en cuenta. Esas cositas, tomenlas siempre este, eh, a, a, en consideración para que no vayan a tener ninguna dificultad. Otra cosa que también pregunté es referente a los diplomas, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ustedes no se preocupen porque van a recibir su notificación en qué momento se les va a entregar su diploma, ¿ok? No sé si hay alguna consulta, alguna inquietud o algo que quieran comentar. Todavía tenemos un par de minutitos. Eh, teacher, eh, respecto a los horarios, no, no sabe usted cuáles horarios irán a habilitar. Entendería yo que seguirían siendo los mismos, a menos que ellos pues tomen otras consideraciones y, y decidan cambiar algo por ahí, pero de igual manera, si hubiese algún cambio, ellos se lo van a, o sea, se los vamos a notificar a la brevedad posible. Ok. Ok. ¿Algo más que quieran incluir? Thank you for the teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. Gracias por compartir su conocimiento con nosotros. Yo también es un guerrero. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, all right? Hi, teacher. Hey, okay, so si no hay más. Teacher, gracias por su paciencia al explicarnos. Eh, Okay, Tons. Gracias, Tons teacher, su apoyo. Thanks, teacher. Very keen, teacher. All right. Hey, it's been my pleasure. I am grateful. Okay. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Okay, it's been a pleasure. So, let us see later. We don't know if we're going to see again, but for sure that it's been a pleasure for me to be here. Thanks, Thanks for teacher. teacher. Thanks for everything. Great, teacher. Feliz Feliz Happy New Year. Merry Feliz Christmas. Enjoy your time. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Bye. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, Mito, everyone. Bye. Bye. Nice Bye. to meet you. Sure. Goodbye, everyone. All right, goodbye. goodbye. Good night. Good night. See you in other other year. Va a llorar. Bye, teacher. Goodbye, Jose. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Goodbye, buddy. Take care.